Hi everyone, Three Fox Company here. Thanks for tuning into my channel. What I've got here is a 1660 Super GPU, and today we will be trying to upgrade the BIOS so that we will be able to get between 34 to 35 mega ashes out of this card mining Ethereum. I've read an article on Reddit about a BIOS upgrade that you can get for the Palette GPUs as well as the MSI GPUs to enable it to do up to 35 mega ashes on Ethereum. I've also seen some other YouTubers that's done the same with this card and they were achieving great results. So today we will be trying to also do the BIOS upgrade and see if we can get better performance out of our 1660 Super cards. So here I've got my 6 GPU 1660 Super rig which I've built recently. So far it's been performing very good. My reported hash rate was around 190.5 mega ashes and I've been doing average around 186 mega ashes on this rig. You can see now that I've only got five cards installed. I've removed number six, which I'll be doing the BIOS upgrade on. And then we'll be testing to see if we can get the increased hash rate. If we achieve good results, then obviously I'll be doing all of these cards to see if we can increase the total hash rate of this uh, mining rig. Okay, so here I've got the EVGA 1660 Supercard installed into my old test PC. I uh, just had to put in a 6-pin to 8-pin splitter as my ATX power supply doesn't have 8-pin connectors. So now that this is connected, uh, let's go onto the desktop and see how we're going to do the upgrade and then see what the results are. Okay, so now that we are on top, uh, I just want to mention that the BIOS we are about to install is only applicable to the Hynix memory. If we look on GPU-Z to get the details of the card, I've actually had some strange behavior with this card since I get this, uh, since I get it from the beginning. And as you'll see, it says the BIOS version is unknown it says the memory type is unknown. There's just a lot of unknowns, so I think that maybe this card might have a bad BIOS already. But nonetheless, we'll be going over this and hopefully we'll get some better results after we install the, the new BIOS. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to open a command prompt. Uh, we run it as administrator. You'll see here I made a folder in my uh, C drive which I just called 1660 Super and I just put all my files inside there just to keep it nice and tidy. So in this folder I put the GPU Z so I can just check all the, the particulars of this card. Then I've downloaded the the ROM file from Reddit, which is the MSI version. This is the long name. You'll see I've got a shorter name. So I've actually just copy and pasted it and renamed it so that we've got something shorter to work with. So when we type in the command, then we don't have to use this long name. And then also I've got NV Flash, which we'll be using to flash the BIOS onto the GPU. So first of all, we'll come down here and then we will change the directory to the C drive, 1616 super. So now that we've changed the directory, so first we'll save the backup of the current file or the current BIOS. So we'll just type in nv flash dash dash save backup dot rom. You can actually call it anything you like. I'll just continue with this. Okay, so now it tells me that it's that the image is completed. 
and you can see there we saved the file so that is the original that is on this card so now we'll continue in this case I've only got one GPU in this test PC I'm actually using the onboard graphics uh, to display everything but we'll just go ahead and just see what it looks like when we look at the list in the flash dash 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 list just so that we can see so this is actually number zero it shows a graphics device like I mentioned there might be a bad BIOS on this car already because it's supposed to show you the details like the EVGA 1660 super or whatever in this case it just shows me graphic device so now we'll continue to the point of no return so we'll put in NV flash dash dash index equals zero space minus six and now we'll just put in the file name of the card uh, of the BIOS that we will be flashing onto this GPU 1660 super.rom okay so we press enter so now it's asking me if we want to go ahead and do this so remember this might work for me it might not work in your instance please do this at your own risk because you might end up breaking the card completely so we just say yes and just yes again so now we'll just wait for this thing to finish so now it just gives us all the details of the old version versus the new version and now it says a reboot is required for the update to take effect so I'll just go ahead and reboot it and then we'll come back on top and see how this thing performs okay so now that we completed the BIOS upgrade I've reinstalled the GPU into the rig and now we tune into iveOS so we can see what the card is doing I've been testing quite a few overclock settings and I had success with some I had less success with others and currently 2500 on the memory and 1050 on the core seems to be the most stable I had this up to 2600 then it would run for you know a couple of minutes 10 minutes 20 minutes then it will crash the rig then I have to reboot it so I've played a, uh, with a lot of settings with the core I've played a little bit on the memory I played and it seems like this 2500 on the memory and 1050 on the core seems to be the most stable of course this 2500 is based on iVOS so on MSI Afterburner this will be 1250 if we come over to the to the shell in the box we can actually see that I'm currently on this one drawing or hashing 34.34 that still gives me quite a decent amount of efficiency just under 400 kilohashes per watt uh, at 86 watts you can see that there's quite a significant increase in the fan speed to keep the temperature stable because I'm running the auto fan and it's much higher than the others so I'll have to do some more testing to see if this is not going to create a problem when we've got warmer days currently we're in the winter season so it's actually quite cool so yes my reported hash rate previously was 190.8 five I've actually gained a little bit so it seems like it's working off you can also see now that this EVGA card that I flashed now shows up as an MSI card obviously because it's got a MSI BIOS installed but so far I'm happy with the results so I'll be running this overnight and then see if it remains stable or not based on that then I'll make the decision to maybe continue with the EVGA cards and then see how they are running that I'll do in a separate video and then the ASUS cards 
I'll also test uh, again in a later video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for tuning into the channel. If you liked the video, please subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get uh, future videos.